Hey everyone, I'm gonna change it up a bit today and do something different. I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but it's sweeping the nation and it's called Rainbow Loom. Basically, you create these cool looking bracelets out of rubber bands. So I'm gonna show you how to make this fishtail rainbow loom bracelet. Now, creating these bracelets is really popular with girls. And since we're talking about girls and creativity, I wanted to share this awesome clip of these nine-year-old girls that built a machine out of toys. Check it out. So a toy company called Goldie Blocks made this video. And their mission is to give girls more options beyond the princess, fairy, makeup toys that they see at toy stores. I love the message behind this company. So if you're looking for a cool Christmas gift, then click the link below and check out their toys. We're gonna be making this fishtail bracelet in rainbow colors. You're gonna be needing the rainbow loom, the hook, a little C-clip, and four black rubber bands and six of each of these colors. And these colors just came standard with a kit. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna be making this bracelet in these colors and we're gonna start with the outer ends. So I have the outer ends in black, so we're gonna start with black. Then we're gonna have two colors of each. So two red, two orange, etc., etc. And then it happens three times throughout the whole bracelet. So let's start with black. You use two pins and you twist them onto the two pins. Then you want to grab your first color and you don't have to twist this one. Oops. Like so. And then the second one. And you need to have three bands on at all times. And once you have three bands on, what you do is you hook onto the bottom band from the outside and then you hook them over the pin and you do that for the other side as well like so and then you push it down and you grab your next color now we're only grabbing one this time because there's already two bands on here and we need to have three bands on here at all times so now we grab the bottom color again bottom band and you hook it over you do the same thing for the other side, oh, like that, and kind of move it to the middle so your bracelet ends up well, and then you push it down again. Now we have two bands, so you use your next color. We only used one orange, so here's the second orange. And then you do the same thing, grab the bottom band from the outside, and use that for the other side too. Keep having trouble with this one. Like that. And go on to your next color. And basically that's it. All you gotta do is just continue. Make sure you have three bands on at all times. And you use two colors of each. Okay, so here, I've gone through all my colors. So after pink, I just start back at red. Like that, I have three bands on. And then after putting the third band on, I use the bottom and move it over the top and do that same thing for the other side. Okay, so we're nearing an end right now. This is the last color I'm putting on. Here's two pink, and then I've got three more blacks left. And it kind of depends on if this is enough for you or not to put around your wrist. I find that two or three more blacks kind of make it a little looser around your wrist, and I like that. And then I'll just take two bottom ones and put them over the top I'll do the same thing for this one and now you want to hold on to your bracelet and carefully take off the black 
hook onto it and then put it into the other one. Hook onto it. Okay, so now you have your hook through it so it can't get undone. And then you wanna hold onto your bracelet, grab your C-clip and kinda of stretch it so it's a little easier to put your C-clip onto the bracelet. So now the C-clip is attached to the bracelet and take your hook out and then you can attach the other end of your bracelet to the C-clip. So there we have our bracelet. Of course, like I said, you can make it longer if you want to. You can add black to it so you have a nice long black attachment from one end to the other and then it makes the rest of the colors pop. Or if you want, you can make just an extra red to pink sequence so that way your bracelet is longer but it's pretty stretchy and I find it fits pretty nice around my wrist but you might want to change kind of the length of your bracelet depending on your own wrist so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial bye